All right, what did they do? So first things first, I heard everyone say Nuvolet has been nerfed into the ground and he's completely unplayable. <laughs> That's what I've heard. The spin is nerfed. Oh, it is. Let me go max DPI. Let's go max DPI and see. You can spin it here, but then yeah, I get slow. It's not like, it's not that crazy. Like, yeah, you can't do the insane spin that you've seen multiple times, but it's not like it's the end of the world. You can still go fast. You're just not gonna be like, you know, you're not gonna suffer from like motion sickness like you were before. So it's not that bad. Issue, they call it. Issue, they call it. Now let's forget Primo's for it. Second thing they added was you can change the UI feature, which is huge for me. Somebody who likes to make like videos and skits and stuff like that. Hide main menu. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's probably one of the best changes. And I think you can hit, yeah. Forward slash brings it up, brings it back. That's nice, man. Let the mighty be that is nice. That's probably one of the best changes right there. For sure. You don't realize how much is actually on the screen. The map, the characters, the menu. The UID is still there, but they got to have that up there. Sick. In the abyss mode, it looks like now you can like move your characters or something. I forgot. I for Drag to just the old. Oh, I see. That's helpful. Because there are times where, like, you know, I, let's say I, I always have my first character, like, my DPS is always in the first slot. I can do this now instead of having to deselect the whole team and then reconstruct it again. Right? So that's pretty good. You can basically set someone as your favorite. So if I do like this and then go into the abyss, I believe you can have, like, your astral stars they call it you can filter by it uh oh no nope quantity there you go astral mark added nice so then you can see the characters that you want specifically that's nice because you know you can have like your abyss lineup and then basically have that as your astral mark so you'll always have your abyss teams up here you know new outfits should be right here yep Oh yeah, it looks nice. It looks so weird without the, the horns, you know? The horns not being there. It's like, Nilu, is that you? No. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's super nice. Oh, that's kind of... Okay. Alright, and then I think, I think the real winner here, though, is definitely Kirara. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> freaking cowboy cat that is amazing because like she doesn't have a hat you know what i mean so when now that she has one that's a big difference i always love when outfits have a big difference and this is a big difference this is a big difference i think she has the better outfit for sure and it's a free one too the encounter point system is different now now it's actually going to be able to kind of be stored for a lot longer however i did see in the patch notes that certain things you get like less points for so world quests and stuff like that you actually get less encounter points for so it may kind of feel a little jank at first oh hold up wait oh yeah so you can do this now this is actually available now you can do your key and you have to pick a character that you want to get the trail for and finish their trial i'll see you guys on the stream for that one. bad news the abyss is the same as it was before so what's the problem here is the patch actually came out today 4.8 but the abyss also resets on the 16th so unfortunately it was just a bit too soon and we still have the old abyss so we're not actually going to get the 4.8 abyss until like august 16th so that really sucks that really sucks but at the end of the day, you know, I guess you do know the Abyss now. At least you're used to it. But 
realistically, it should be changing every month. That's how. To, that's what should be happening. But alas, we are stuck with the same one. I bet you didn't know this. New emotes. <laughs> very very end here. You got new emotes as well. Very very minor a little update, but you got Wolfie now, Dane Slef, Sethos, Siegeween, and Chlorin. I see the value in my. The next Imaginarium Theater is going to be Hydro, Cryo, and Animo. They are avoiding Geo like the plague. Uh, we have Farina, Barbara, Kamisato Ayaka, Diana, Zhao, and Farozan. Farozan again. And your special guest stars are Emily, Dia, Nahida, and Shang Wei. So that is the upcoming Imaginarium Theater rotation. Oh, and the next actual like trails that are behind the characters, Kaya, Kave, Yoimiya, and Yelan. That's a good lineup. So those little trails you have for like Diluc, Ningguang, Chi Chi, Kirara, like right now, you're going to have that for those characters in the following Imaginarium Theater. Apparently they shaved two hours off of harvestable resources. So they'll come back a little bit sooner, like two hours sooner. The bosses respawn almost immediately. I think it's about like 10 seconds. So let me take out our chicken here. We shall prevail. Right? And if we step away, you do have to teleport away. You can't just like be hanging out in the same spot. You gotta teleport away for just a little bit. I think it's about 10 seconds time. And ironically enough, it will be right back. Which is huge for farming. Yep, there he is. That's insane. That is such a good quality of life. That is such a good quality of life. So you can definitely pick the, up the actual drop and then just leave. And then 10 seconds, we'll be right back again. So, sweet. Talking to NPCs will actually have a option where you can get rid of the dialogue. Or you can see the old dialogue. And you can actually get rid of it as well. Which is huge, because you can actually move it around too. So you can see all the dead pigeons that you killed when you're talking to Timmy. Old mod stat, and I believe some leeway domains have been reduced in difficulty. So now this one is, yeah, Hydro Slime and Fatui Pyro Agent. Used to be a bunch of Hydro Slimes and then two Cryo Abyss Mages? Or was it Hydro Abyss Mages? It was Abyss Mages though, now they're gone and it's just Fatui Pyro Agent. They've made some adjustments in terms of a couple of these domains. This is just one of them. New banners, Navia, Nilu, Verdict, and the key. Nothing much has changed here. And everyone's favorite game mode in Genshin, TCG, has gotten new adjustments, new balances, new changes, and I believe it's gotten new characters. Yes, Navia, Cheverus, and Kabe. So I haven't played TCG in about... I'd say about two weeks. I played it a, a little bit ago, but just some overall changes. Some cards do more damage. Some cards do less damage. Some characters have a bigger buff. Some characters have a smaller buff. It's literally just, you know, some balancing stuff. And I literally just noticed this. What's kind of cool about the no UI thing, everything is actually still there. You just can't see it. So if I like use my alt tab and I click right here, it will actually click on the like TCG thing. That's usually there. If I click over here, there's the event tab. So it's still actually there. You just can't see it. But with that being said, last but not least is the event itself. I will see you guys on stream, on Twitch, and on YouTube. We'll go through this whole thing and we'll go through all the other updates as well. So I'll see you there. If I miss any of the updates, you can let me know. But that should be all for me. And like I said, I will see you guys on stream.